My resin painted wine glasses are my top sellers at art and craft shows. And in 2023, these manatee glasses sold out. Watch how I made them. It's really easy. I have this manatee clip art that I found on Google Images and I've printed it out on haze water slide decal paper in white and so I'm going to sit down watch the news and cut these out with my scissors so once I've cut them out I'm just taking my glasses and wiping them down really well with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and I'm just using a paper towel. I've got my alcohol in a little spray bottle, so it's really quick. But you want to make sure that your glasses are clean, and you can use soap and water if you want. But um, you want to make sure your glasses are grease-free and dirt-free. Even with fingerprints, fingerprints can make the resin repel, and you'll end up with fish eyes. Then you'll need just a, a shallow dish, and I'm just using a leftover yogurt container then just a little bit of water. I mean, you want enough water that your your water slide decal will be fully submerged because the decal, you need to soak the decal in water. And what that does is it kind of activates the glue that's on the back side of the decal and it allows it to separate from the paper backing. This usually takes about 30 seconds and you'll know because if you if you kind of slide it with your finger, you'll see it start to separate. And then just be really careful because the decal paper itself, or the decal itself, is, is pretty fragile. I mean, it's not, you know, like rice paper or anything, or tissue paper, but you just want to be really gentle, gentle with it. And then just, you, you want to slide that backing paper off. And then I'm just using a really soft makeup brush that I got from the Dollar Tree, and just smooth out all the little wrinkles, smooth out all the little bubbles, and look at that. Isn't he cute? And then you just want to repeat that with the rest of your decals. The jingling you hear in the background is not Santa Claus. It is my little puppy dog shaking his head and his collar makes all that noise. I really like the Hayes brand of the, uh, the water slide decal paper. It's very durable, it's easy to work with, and it holds the color really well. I bought this water slide decal paper on Amazon, and now that I'm an Amazon affiliate, if you click on the link in the description, I will earn a very small commission um, if you use that link. Every little bit of support helps me and it helps my channel grow. So basically it's lather, rinse, repeat. I've been just soaking all of these now and uh, just finishing all eight of these glasses. Uh, at least I'm putting the water slide decal on the glasses all at once. I can only resin four of them because I only have one quad turner. Um, so I can only do four resin projects at a time, but I'm going to include them all in this video because I'm kind of doing the the same process on all eight of these glasses. So I really love these. These are so cute. They're really great sellers. And you will need to let these dry completely, usually a couple of hours before you move on to the next step, which is resin. All right. These guys are nice and dry. <clears throat> They've actually been sitting overnight, but you want to make sure it's really, really dry because resin does not like water, okay? And the only reason I'm using paper towel is because I like to see the color as I'm working. And I'm going to be applying resin with alcohol ink, so I want to be able to see the color. And I'm using pool noodles because I, I just don't like the... Um, I just don't like, I don't like the, um, the little inserts that came with my turner and new turn. Oh no. What the heck? What the heck, man? All right. I got to figure that out. So let's just put it. Now I'm going to 
wipe these off with some alcohol. Which I have handy in a little spray bottle. And I'm just going to wipe these off with any fingerprints. I've been handling these, so I don't want any kind of fingerprint grease or anything like that. I haven't been eating any pizza, but yeah, just never know. Now I'm going to mix up my resin. My go-to liquidy split. Chaos resin, liquidy split. The good stuff. It's fast set, so we got to work fast, but like it. A silicone cup that I got on Amazon. The markings are not real great, but the way that I clean the inside of my glass is I, I flip it inside out over a trash can. Flip it inside out over a trash can and I clean the inside with a rag and some alcohol. It looks great. So I'm going to glove up. And I have to hold the cup up to the light because you just can't see the markings. But these are cheap and they work great. 40 milliliters of my KS Resin Liquidy Split. And you can use my discount code. You can find that in the description. You can get 10% off your order using my discount code. All right. So my alcohol inks for the tops, I'm going to use Pixis, Cobalt, Sky, and then um, Glacier by Tim Holtz Ranger inks. And then for the bottom, which is going to be more murky, um, stream like uh, Tim Holtz Latte, Tim Holtz Ginger, Tim Holtz uh, Stream, and then Pixis Ocean. Um, stream is kind of a greenish blue, and Ocean is more of a green. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is put a thin coat on each one of these. I really need to use my little turner thing. This is a little turntable that I got at a thrift store and it just is amazing. Let's put those aside. Let me shake them up. Put this on top. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna put a thin layer. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the top. Okay. And I'm not going to put it directly on the very bottom of the glass. Okay. I don't take the top of mine because I want it to be a organic natural edge. And you'll see in a minute once I start putting the alcohol ink on what I mean. And I don't use a thick layer on my glasses. It's about 10 milliliters and for tumblers that's not enough but for glasses it's perfect because for tumblers you do need a thicker amount of resin to cover glitter or co cover decals but on glasses on glasses you just don't need a very thick amount of resin You don't need a thick layer. This is my own opinion. I don't put a thick layer because if you if you drop your glass hard enough or um, set it down on a table hard enough to chip your resin, you have broken your glass. So you just don't need a thick layer of resin. All right, I'm going to go ahead and torch it with my heat gun if I can find it. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to start with brown on these bees. So I'm going to use latte and the ginger. Oh, almost out of ginger. And then the stream and the ocean. Concentrating, I really should have picked the. I'm going to concentrate on the bottom. But just. how these the alcohol ink just kind of bounces off the glasses sometimes it's kind of funny when that happens I'm leave the lids off just in case I don't know what this latte I think it's a little bit lighter oh it's darker that'll be fine Now, in the glasses that I did previously with the manatees, I had drawn on, um, I had drawn on some seagrass. See how that's a little, just a little bit greener? Oh, it blends so well. Anyway, I had drawn on with a paint marker, a paint pen, I had drawn on some seagrass before I put the resin and then the alcohol and ink on, but it was really hard to see the grass at all so it looked cute before i put the resin on but once everything was done and the the glass was off did you, you couldn't even see it so i just decided not to do it this time And now I'm just going to do, I think, a little bit more of this. All right. This is still stream. And I forgot all about the ocean, didn't I? Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Now I'm going to put ocean. This is what I meant to use instead of stream, but And now the glacier, and then um, cobalt will be next. Oh uh, no, cobalt will be last. Glacier, let me do sky first. Now let me do glacier. I think just cobalt. I don't know if I want to blend with my hand or with my heat gun. Cobalt is like the last color I put on there because it is just so bright and contrasty. Is that a word? Contrasty?
All right, so I'm going to try something. I'm going to take my gloved hand and I just want to see what would happen if I do this. And I just kind of swipe it. Ooh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. Ole. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to wipe my finger off so I don't blend my colors. Probably should have gotten clean. And then do the same on the top. Oh no. That's pretty. That's really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna do this set just like that. So both, both sets. Now as these glasses turn, they are going to, you know, the resin is gonna move a little bit more. And so I think it would probably be better if I did this. Maybe so I don't. So the resin probably is going to move a little bit more. That is so cool. It's very, very much like watercolor. All right. So I do want, um, I think, to wipe my rims. Um, just to kind of clean them up a little bit. Now, if there's any stray ink, I can get that, um, like right there, the ink is dry, but I can get that. See, I can tell that's ink and it's on glass. It's not on resin. So I can get that later. I can clean that up. I'm not worried about that. So any stray ink, I can clean up. All right, I'm liking that, y'all. And I'm even getting little tiny cells in here. It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe I can zoom in. Um, can you see that? Look at those little tiny, tiny cells. Okay, I need to... I need to get this with my heat gun though. I'm gonna take All right, I'm gonna let these turn for a couple of hours. It's lunchtime, so I'm gonna go get some lunch, let these turn, and then come back before supper and uh, see what we have. They should be pretty dry to the touch in a couple of hours, so. Um, oh my goodness, I am loving it. Don't be upset set about this. I can clean that up. That's just from the ink. This. Here's a close-up of it. And that's why I put the paper towel so you can see the color. Man, I don't know if you can really see the detail in this video, but these are going to be super cute. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what they're going to look like. I 
little darker than I would have liked. I don't like um, how you can't really see the manatee. Well, I'm not totally unhappy. I'm not 100% thrilled either, but um, I think I think I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm, I think I'm going to use my heat gun um, from now on. Although I, I like I like um, the blending of the alcohol inks on the bottom, and just I don't know if I really like this look on here the top i'm going to give it i'm going to give it another try and maybe just just keep refining this i don't like how heavy the alcohol ink is on top of the water slide so we definitely i definitely need to work on that but i mean i'm not completely unhappy i think this is just a, a neat kind of a neat um kind of a water color effect or stained glass effect but definitely not over the decal so i need to work on that other than that i like it i like them so We'll just give it give it another go and um let's try it again.